What up, and this is John's your boy, IBS Kelso, coming back with another MX Bikes banger. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to brake tap your dirt bike and MX Bikes. Maybe you're tired of allowing the bike to control you in the air, and maybe you wanna have more comfortability, more stability in the air, and actually feel comfortable about your riding. From stopping the rev limiting, and literally being scared to actually just blip daddy and think it's gonna work out. Well, I'm gonna show you how to brake tap and actually have more control in the air to allow you to actually attack every situation, whether it be a supercross, triple, a rhythm section, and or motocross. So let's hop into it, hit that like button, subscribe button baby whether you use auto clutch or you actually use manual clutch you're definitely going to want to pull in your clutch no matter what to initiate the best brake tap now you can either use this with combined brakes or back brake whether whichever way you have your keybind set if you do not pull in that clutch and using automatic clutch you will not get the best brake tap for you right the biggest thing is seizing the engine and cutting it completely off and stopping all that forward motion and dipping the bike. I'm gonna show you this example right here is what I mean. It'll actually lock the back brake up and it'll actually stop the engine for just that quick second for it to dip and then you need to start it back up by letting go of the clutch. Now I'll go ahead and show this in as slow as possible as I can. Let's go about 1.7. Now, right here, you're going to see me moonshot like the most of you guys, right? I'm not trying to scrub, not trying to do anything, right? Maybe you're not even ready to scrub or even whip, but I'm moonshotting. I'm moonshotting. That is completely vertical in the air. I'm pulling in the clutch, and you're going to see the back brake literally lock up on me, which allows my inertia forward to dip down. Now, before I even land, you're going to see me start that bike back up. That is right there. I killed the whole engine, and then I brought the engine back alive. Let's go one more time. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. Just as soon as I'm moonshotting, you can see it. I'm mooning right about. I'm a, back brakes already locked up that whole time. Okay, right there is the moonshot. So moonshot, back brake at the top. I'm literally dipping the whole bike down to set myself up to land with both wheels. And then I'm starting the engine before I even land. This right here is the best brake tap for you. All right, so make sure you guys are pulling in your clutch and then pressing that back brake or combined brakes, it works. So showing you from a first person view um, and really look at my clutch as I'm in the air here, pulling the clutch, back brake. It's dipping the bike automatically, right? Now, obviously a lot of people are like, dude, how are you able to like do all this in the in the air, right? So it's, it's, it is a lot, it's a process to do it, right? It's even hard to think about anything else in the air of trying to just motion your bike. It will take time and practice, but you have that split second. Think of a think of in the air. You have all the time you need within like a one one second, one point five second uh, window to press it there and get back on it. I literally was in the air for a very long time. Now, as you learn to scrub and all that, you're gonna be in the air for a very lo less amount of time. But if you're not scrubbing and you're not whipping, you have all the time you need to actually focus and get here, moonshot, and then press your clutch in and back and back brake to allow that 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 whole bike to just dip on you, right? whole thing is is literally science you're always moving forward you're always moving forward you pull the clutch in and press the back brake you're killing all that forward motion and it's dipping the bike just biggest key thing is make sure you're back on the gas before you even land this game's all about momentum it's all about momentum as well and if you don't know the bike reacts to you better when you're actually on the gas before you land you don't get any weird physics and you feel more control on the bike now you're just learning how to get in the rhythm sections and you're not doing anything fancy. You're literally moonshot and just trying to make it through a triple, right? This is where it also helps for you to actually land on both wheels instead of just your back wheel so you can actually get the best forward momentum so you can keep driving. Now, initial in, you probably don't need as much back brake as you think you need. You're definitely trying to get the air and speed inside. As you can see, that was a perfect little last minute uh, brake tap. But right here, you can really see I'm stretching, I'm stretching. I back brake to let it dip. That allows me to literally get front brake in here and then get as much motion in there. And you already see the back wheel is spinning before I even drop down, right? That's allowing me to keep carrying that speed forward, braking, tapping, and then literally dipping the front end. Now, it may cost you sometimes doing these, these brake taps because you know, you're literally killing all your forward momentum and seizing that engine. Stuff like this will hurt you, but it will help you if you know how to use it correctly. So yeah, I hope this video helped you out a lot. Whether or not you actually learned how to brake tap, um, definitely give it a go. And if this video did help you, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe button. I think a lot of people did not know that you could even brake tap that much in the game and how much it actually helps you out to center your bike, especially if you have no control over your bike. As you can see, I use it a lot more now these days, where like even if I'm going in, 
moonshotting, brake tapping, allowing me to drop the bike back down. Things like this is just gonna help you out with your game. So I thank you so much for clicking on this video and at least hopefully I can give you a little bit more control of your bike in the air. This doesn't just pertain to Supercross, it does pertain to motocross as well. Especially if you guys are trying to do LaRocco's Leap, any sky jump, just know that if you're moon rocketing, clutch in, brake tap, you'll drop the bike. Make sure you're back on the throttle before you hit it. And you should be straight, man. Especially with Supercross triples right here. And you're not doing anything fancy. So, thank you guys for watching. It's your boy, Ibis Kelso, and I'll catch you guys in the absolute next one. Pop, 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 pop,